Hi there, Ark Survival Builders. It's the Immortal Adrian here. We're doing part three of the indoor swimming pool base build. Right, so we're just going to finish off the top here. Got to put a couple of extra ceiling panels in here to complete this section. And we completely seal off the ceiling except for over the swimming pool area. We want that particular section to be exposed to the sky just for aesthetic purposes. So we can look down and see the pool. So we'll put some handrails uh, around the exposed areas, handrails to the front and handrails to the back of this front apron here, just to protect the pool. The rest of the area around the pool will be covered by building. So we'll just drop down here and put the last handrail on the back dock area here. And I'm going to put some columns on the corner of the pool. These columns just give us a nice finishing effect and help to punctuate that pool. Okay, and I'm going to start putting the greenhouse area up. So this particular spot here is going to be greenhouse. So we'll put the greenhouse walls going too high, two across the back, four down the side, and three down this side that faces the swimming pool. And on the other side, we'll start with the stone walls. Put stone walls in the corner and then a greenhouse window or greenhouse wall and then another stone wall. And then we go too high to match the rest of the build. We're going to put a greenhouse wall in the middle and then stone walls all around, around that. And then on the opposite side, facing towards the pool, same thing, a greenhouse wall in the middle. And then we surround that with stone walls. This gives us a sort of a balance where we get some visual and we can look out into the water. So on the side that's away from the pool, we put another set of greenhouse walls and on the side that's towards the pool same thing we put a set of greenhouse walls on the bottom but only one high because there's no need to look up at that point we're only looking down we're looking into the pool i want to put some columns on the top here and i have to remove the walls to get the columns in because those walls are effectively blocking the column placement. So I remove the walls, put the column in, and then put the wall back. That column is a small column, extension of the, the one inside. Pillars, I'm sorry, they call them pillars. Same on this area at the back. It's not going to let me put this pillar in. I'm going to have to remove those two walls on the corner and I probably should have put the pillar in first but that's the way it goes with this building now because I'm using S plus or superstructures I can remove these materials without destroying them if you're not using superstructures then you're gonna you'll be destroying the walls and then losing material so I'm sorry about that so that pillar's gone in, replace the stone wall, replace the greenhouse wall on this side. And that's pretty much the building as we see it. Now we put some doorways at the front, a couple of double greenhouse doorways, and stone walls at the top. We'll put the double greenhouse doorways on the other side and then the double greenhouse door in the doorway and then put some handrails around the outside here. You can put walls here if you want but um, it's really just for visual so I think the handrails look better than walls.
So we'll finish the greenhouse off, put a couple of greenhouse walls above the door here. And now as soon as the roof goes on, the greenhouse is complete. We'll come downstairs to the dock area, put a couple of double greenhouse doorways at the dock area, and then put the double greenhouse doors in. And we'll just finish missing wall panels that we might have. And I want to put some walls across the top of this doorway here. There'll be stone walls. Now if you have a look at this, it doesn't look quite right. I'm not happy with the way that stone sits on top of the greenhouse door. That should have been stone double door frames. So I'm going to remove all of this front section. I'm going to replace this with stone double doorways. and then put the greenhouse doors back in. And then put the stone walls across the top. And hopefully you can see why I did that. That works with that stone door frame. That looks so much better. I'm going to do the same down here. I'm going to pop those doorways out take the doors out first and then the door frames put stone door frames in double door frames in place of the greenhouse double door frames and then put my greenhouse doors back in so two sets of greenhouse double doors and then the walls across the top of that I've run out of walls so I'm going to put some greenhouse walls in here where I want some windows anyway. So just wherever it feels comfortable. I'm removing a couple of walls. And I'm going to replace that with greenhouse walls. For full height, that's two. One, two. And now we've got some view. And it doesn't look quite so dungeon-like in here. We've got two more stone walls. I'm going to put them uh, above the the dock doorways out here. Okay, so now we can get out here. Ramp here. Ramp here. And this makes it easier to get in and out of the water if you go out fishing or swimming or looking for oil and you get chased by a megalodon, which happens a lot, then at least you've got a decent escape route. I'm pretty happy with the way that looks for now and I think I'm going to call that the end of this episode. Thank you all for coming along and hope to see you again in the next episode. Okay. Okay.